Hello everyone. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time um, zone you're watching this video from. I just come to let you know that you don't have to worry and you don't have to fret because God has not failed us yet. He's sitting up high and he's looking down low and he's seeing his children, his people crying out to him. Although if your candidate was not the one that won, don't worry about it. Pray about it. Because God has not failed us yet. He's going to give us what we need. He's going to take care of his children. You haven't missed a meal, have you? You haven't been lacking? Our father have a thousand cattle on a thousand heads. Do y'all know that mean, what it means? He's going to provide for us. So look not to the government, but look to God who owns everything. Though, you know, things around you might start looking a little grim or a little dire, you know what? Keep that smile on your face. Keep the smile in your heart. And keep your head up high. Don't hang your head down low because you don't have nothing to be sorrowful for. When you're going through like I've gone through, and many of y'all know, and many of y'all don't, that for the past two years, I was sick nearly at the point of death. And you know what? I don't, and I lost my son in 2017. And yes, things around me were looking grim, but when I was going through, I did not for one minute think that. I was not going to be delivered. Because right when you get right there at that point where the enemy is getting around you, doing everything he think he could do. But God said, that's all right. I'm here. And I'm going to make everything all right. He said he's going to make everything all right. So don't doubt him, y'all. And don't put him in a box. Don't put him in a box. Just pray. Trust and believe. That's all we got to do. Trust and believe. Hope crew, all the dashers and everything that's going on, don't worry about that stuff. Don't worry about that stuff. Because I've been seeing people say they're preparing, they're stocking up this and stocking up this, and I've been seeing videos where they say, every time you go to Dollar Tree or the dollar store, buy this. Save it. Because y'all know those lean times are coming. So prepare as much as you can prepare. Because then when those lean times come, come, all you got to do is go to your stock and pull it out. But God is not going to see us go hungry. He's going to make everything all right, y'all. Take him at his word. Just trust and know that he cares for us. He done told us to leave all our cares with him. Though things might start to get a little, you know, make you a little uneasy, don't worry about it. Just smile and say, oh. God, I know you're taking care of it. Thank you, Lord. He's not a deadbeat dead. He's going to look out for his children, y'all. So, you know, go about your day singing a happy song. Get a song in your heart, a smile on your face, a scripture. Even, you know what, just say, fret not thyself because of evil doers. Psalm 37. Y'all read Psalm 37. I'm sorry, y'all. My partial sometimes make me mess my words up, but that's all right. 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 Oh, that's all right. I know I got a seed in God's kingdom. That's all right. When I was a little girl and I was in a church, the church that our family belonged to, we was in the junior choir. 
And that was one of the songs we sang. That's all right. It's all right. I know I got a seat in God's kingdom. Y'all don't worry about that stuff. Only thing we need to worry about if our name is in that lamb book. Your name is in that book. Trust and believe. Read his word, y'all. Take him out of that box. Believe in him. Because Jesus is real. And like I said before, no matter who is president, God is still in control. Okay, babies, I love you until next time.